I'm going to show you another really cheap wing cutter that I've come up with. And uh, in my other video, I showed you how to tear a part out of a computer, the power supply. Well, this one, I didn't have to tear it out. I just went down to the local computer store. I was able to pick up a power supply from an old computer. This one happens to be a 19-volt you know, power supply, 6.3 amps, and you want as high amps as you can get on these. I just took it. You can see where it used to plug into the computer right here. I've gone ahead and tore off the uh, ends of it, stripped back the copper on the one and the other wire on the other, and it doesn't matter which one you do, since it's a DC power supply, it's going to, it's going to be able to just simply carry the current. I've taken, I went down to Radio Shack, I picked up, let's see if I can get one of these out of here. I put your connectors on this end, standard connector right there, and an alligator clip on the other end. And I've got both situations, so I can just, as you see, the way I've done this, I picked some of these up surplus, these connectors here, so I can just plug it in. You don't have to have these connectors. You could run it directly off of your power supply if you wanted to. I just did this for convenience's sake. Now, when I built my bow for my wing cutter, I just went out in my shop, took a piece of wood. This happens to be a piece of ash. I drilled some holes in it, had a strong piece of music wire that had some tinsel strength to it. I took a notch right in the end. I took it with a hacksaw and I just made a really small notch. And then I've just taken my, I stretched my wire over the top. This is just simple bright wire that I picked up at a, a hobby stop, a, you know, Robert's Crafts, I think we got it at. It's 26 gauge, uh, very, very light wire. I like this. Um, if you break it, it's not a big deal. It's not very expensive. I usually use a little heavier gauge than the 26, but it's usually because I've got a longer wing I'm, I'm cutting more out of. I just simply take the wire, run it down through the groove, and then wrap it around the back side. Come to the other side, pull some tension in it. In fact, if you listen, you can hear it. I've strung it up like a guitar string. Pull pressure in on those pieces of music wire so it'll pull straight. When I go ahead and start pulling across there, I'll be able to pull it right across that wing. Now you see I've gone into my shop also and cut some, these are just masonite forms to give the, uh, uh, the shape of the wing that I want, the cord of the wing. I've I run them into the side of my styrofoam with some screws, just grabber screws. I'll lay it flat on my piece of wood and I'm going to hang it out over the edge just a little bit. You can see I'm hanging it out over the edge here. And as I do that, I'll be able to feed my wire in and out on a little bit of an angle. Now, let me go ahead and do that for you. I'm going to put a little bit of extra weight on top of this thing. Just an old computer I had laying around. I teach a computer class, so I've got lots of computers. Just I use for all kinds of crazy stuff. I've got my power supply plugged in. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up my power. You're going to watch this thing. It actually sparks a little bit. I'm going to measure. I don't want to heat up any more of the wire than I absolutely have to. So I'm going to measure where this one's going on this side. You'll watch the spark that's generated when I put it up there. I'll get it up off that computer. Get my hand out of the way so you can see it. You can see the spark as it powers up that wire. And it'll start to heat that wire up. Now it's not going to heat up out here. It'll only heat up between there. Once I've got it heated up, I'm going to move my wire out of the way. Get down below, I can actually smell it now. Put it on my form and start to pull. You can actually see how fast I can bring it across there. I have to pull up with both unequal pressure. That power supply does a great job with this. They're cheap. I paid $10 used at a local uh, computer repair place. Normally I'd have just used one I had laying around here, but I didn't have the one that was that high of amperage. They work great. They cut smooth. I just haven't had any problems with this type of a cutter. got just a little bit of down pressure on it so that the wire is riding on the form that I made and cut straight between the two of them. 
long as I pull with even pressure on left and right, they'll feed out at about the same time and do a beautiful job of cutting this wing. Once I get close to the end, I slow down on my drag just a little bit because it is coming in with a bit of a bow in the center. Both sides are now out. I kind of let them rest and pull out. And as soon as I'm done, you can see I'm cleared out and it's cut. Disconnect my clips. The alligator clips get a little bit warm, but not too bad. Set that aside. Get the computer off. There it is. You can see the inside, how smooth that cuts. You can see the top of the wing. And it's absolutely beautiful. Ready to sand a little bit on both ends. I'll round the front of it. And I've got a flat spot for the aileron on the back. Cheap. Works great.